So when you attach this OH group, the name of the compound is alcohol. Must have heard about alcohol and their effects on the mind. So the alcohol is nothing but a carbon compound with an OH group. Or it can be more than one OH group also. They'll, they'll also be called alcohols. Next, we have a group CHO. The CHO is like this. See? CH1 valence is satisfied. O2 valence is satisfied. C1, 2, 3 valence is satisfied. So, 1 is left for bonding with the carbon compound. So, the CHO, the when it gets attached to the chain, it is called aldehyde. Now, we have this thing also. C double bond O, we have O's two valencies are satisfied, but C only two valencies are satisfied. So we have two hands, or two valencies vacant. So there can be one group over here, a group means a carbon chain or a ring. And there can be another group over here. And these two may be same, may not be same. So, this CO group, the name is given as ketone. And lastly, you uh, one thing you see that this CHO group is that is the aldehyde group. It's nothing but a modification of the ketone group because out of this, in this ketonic group, one of the groups is hydrogen, and the other is the other group. So this is just a modification of ketone. And lastly, we have this group. Oxygen 2 valency is satisfied, oxygen 2 valency is satisfied, hydrogen 1 valency is satisfied. Carbon 1, 2, 3 satisfied, so this is vacant and this is bonded to the chain. So, this group, which is called COOH group, it's called acid. Now, this acid, wait, just let me write these things again. So this acid group, why is it called an acid? It's because it behaves similar to an acid. It has, when it is attached to the compound, it exhibits properties very similar to acids. And it will react with a base to give salt and water. Which we'll, we'll see all these things. The thing which... Uh, 
you must have seen this vinegar bottles these vinegar bottles are nothing but acetic acid and whose formula is ch3 cooh this cooh group is attached to this ch3 this is your acetic acid and vinegar is a diluted form of acetic acid we see all these things later firstly these groups as i told you when they are attached to the chain it will give rise to new properties and these properties i mean the chemical properties i am talking about only chemical properties that is reactions the chemical properties will remain constant for a particular group no matter how long the chain is which means that if you have c c c and then oh so this is an alcohol the chemical properties of this alcohol and the chemical properties of you can add more carbons over here you can have branches over here like this like this this alcohol are same that means they'll follow the same set of reactions which are generalized for alcohols similarly for aldehydes also the chemical properties will remain same no matter what the carbon chain is but the physical properties like this melting point and boiling point obviously change with the molecular mass and if the carbon chain increases or decreases the physical properties will change now as i was telling that these chains and suppose you have an alcohol over here remember that the functional groups always replace hydrogens from the chain they do not replace carbons from the chain so this hydrogen is replaced by this oh group which is an and which makes it an alcohol and see if you add one more carbon this still remains an alcohol but it is a different alcohol the chemical properties will remain same but the physical properties will change similarly you add more carbons to the alcohol they will remain an, al an alcohol and as you are adding carbons you are making a sort of a series a series of alcohols by adding one carbon each you see in this this compound which is c2h5oh you write it like this you write always the group different from the formula so this c2h5oh and this will be 
C3H7OH these will differ by one carbon and two hydrogens. So they differ by this CH2 and similarly the next thing which is which I'll write C4 H 9 OH and this will again differ by one carbon and two hydrogens. So as we are increasing the number of carbons in the chain they are the formula is getting increased by this CH2 unit. So and this remains constant if we are adding one carbon. You'll see even in this alkanes CH4, C2H6, C3H8 these get increased by CH2 and even in alkenes C2H4 C3H6, C4H8, they increase by CH2.